Hi, here is Klaas Nienhuis and, and now I'm going to show you how to make a 3D map uh, with actual terrain heights and we're going to take a look around uh, Tokyo so let's open map room we'll take a second to load all the presets and I've installed my beta license which gives me access to these uh, mapping presets I will go with the satellite preset and step into the map space and find my location and I know I want to be around Tokyo Tokyo Japan sounds just great and I go to the terrain layer and I make it pretty big so uh, um, that I can cover a, a big area and find the place I'm looking for. I'm going to decrease the uh, zoom level. I'm going to update these map images. It will download the map images and compile the map into uh, a big texture. Right, here we are. Uh, Tokyo. Um, I think I want to have this area around here. This peninsula looks interesting, and I know it's interesting, and Mount Fiji should be around here as well. So I'm going to add a map layer, satellite map layer again. Uh, I'm making it smaller, like 500 by 500 which lets me zoom in a little bit to the area I want and I'm going to offset it or push it one meter on top of the other layer. Um, if these map layers would be in the same height there would be a lot of Z fighting uh, so I'm pushing this smaller layer a meter up. So again more downloading and uh, this is too big. I can use a 200 by 200 and let me shift focus a little bit to the um, uh, peninsula here to update my map images. Okay, this looks great. So I'm going to move to um, aerial images and more importantly, I'm going to switch on the terrain heights. In this case there is one terrain height provider which is SRTM3, it's a global data set. Let's see what happens. When the, terrains, uh, when the terrain is being built um, it uses a displacement modifier so there is a terrain texture and uh, the mesh is displaced based on that texture and here we are. And usually terrain heights are a bit disappointing to me. Uh, I mean that uh, terrain heights, the, the heights aren't really that, that big when you look at it from this distance. And I see I've made a mistake. Mount Fiji is here. So that's where I'm going to move the map. I'm going to leave it at this and update the terrains again. Uh, so what you can do is uh, exaggerate the terrain heights. Uh, of course, if if the goal of the map allows this. So first what I usually do is I go to my display color and set it to object color. This makes it much easier to uh, to see the terrain heights. I'm going to uh, hide this one, hide the shapes and you see what I mean. This is Mount Fiji but it isn't really that high when you look at it from this scale. So you can exaggerate the heights. Correct heights would be, uh, this value would be 65. So let's double this. Now this looks neat. And you can also increase the subdivision of the mesh. Um, the, the subdivision is uh, usually set as, at six. You can increase it, you can increase it more. If you increase it too much, the mesh will be too big. And already here you can see these lines. You can see that the mesh subdivision is starting to get higher than the resolution of the texture map. So I'm going to de 
decrease this one and well, this looks really nice uh, that's a nice terrain so let's go back and slap on the material color uh, I don't like this texture really that much so let's go back and put in some kind of abstract map uh, for instance uh, this one and here we are nice map 3D terrains uh, with map room SRTM3 sta uh, stamen maps uh, the whole shaman. Okay, have fun.